child, Tiana T. Yeah, that's me, and I'm back at it again with another reaction video. So before I begin, I probably do look crusty and dusty right now, but I took up CrossFit and CrossFit been kicking my ass. So if I look beat down, I am. But y'all ain't gonna talk about me. We came here to talk about Clarence ex Leslie Ines. So the T is that Leslie Ines, Clarence's Clarence NYC's ex made a whole like tell a book about their relationship, what she went through and how he left her for queen and how it all like kind of came up to like where it is right now. And I done heard a few clips from Clarence about like what the book talked about, but this is the first time Leslie's speaking up. Like she made a whole YouTube video. Leslie ain't been on YouTube in a long time. Leslie had plenty of opportunity to like run a YouTube bag up run her Instagram up, but she's just been like, you know, chilling, living her life day by day as usual. So for her to speak up, it must be something that we need to hear. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Hey guys, it's Leslie here. Most of you guys know me as Leslie Ines. That's my name on pretty much all my social platforms. Um, First of all, girl, you look good. The whole like ambiance, like the little plants, the candles, the whole mood getting set, and the all black hair, face beat, like but like not overly beat, boobs looking good. They sitting, okay, okay. She cute, she cute. She now she had to come on here cute because we we ain't heard from her. We don't really know who she is. So you did good. I'm here today because I need to address some things. Um, my name is being tossed around a little too much, and it's very. Good. Let me tell you something. Her name everywhere. Like I'm scrolling on like my spiritual YouTube, you know, this is, like my regular YouTube, and I'm just like, dang, Leslie Ines is just everywhere. Like this is a big deal for real. Leslie too, and I don't appreciate it. I think I've been quiet for about three years, and I've never said anything in regards to my past relationship, and I don't even talk about him, nor do I talk about his current girlfriend. Um, I stay out of that. You guys know that when I go on Instagram Live and they mention them, I never respond. I act like I Okay, I caught one of her lives and she definitely do be ignoring every other comment. Like really, she barely be reading the comments anyway, but she a good one because I've been spoke on the business. Like uh money bag yo, could I could spoke on the business. I would have been there and I'd been like, he ain't leave me for her, I left him. I would have cleared my name a long time ago. She a good one. She really is. See it and I just go about my business. Um, it's not like me to entertain negativity. I don't like that. I try to be as positive as I can and just live a stress-free life and not entertain certain things. And um, Sis is snatched, okay? Like her chest and her like skin is glistening. She look good and glowy. Like first of all, my stomach don't look like that when I sit down. When I sit down, you gonna get a little rolls. She ain't got no rolls, so. See, she look good. People want to know my story. We do. I feel like now it's, it's long over time to share my story. So I plan to do that. And I'm going to start from the beginning of my relationship with Clarence. Um, Sounds like the book. The book started from her from the beginning of her relationship with Clarence. So why clear the air now? If it ain't you. Look, look, let me let her finish. And throwing some exclusive content there that you guys haven't seen. And um, I hope Sound this good. clears up a lot of stuff. And I hope that if this also lets all of you guys get to know me a little bit more, know the kind of person I am, because I've never really spoken out and don't share my business, but I hope this does clear some stuff. And um, that's it. Stay tuned. There you have it. She let us know clearly that she about to speak on the business. But first of all, why now? Just because your name's being tossed around. Like Clarence, he did clear up some things, but Clarence is not really phased by it. But here's my thing with YouTube and YouTube people and people who make a bank on YouTube and people who want to enter the YouTube arena. It's always something that pops off that gets their name going and gets them like where they want to be. So her Instagram followers did go up with her name being tossed around. Her YouTube ain't really been hitting on nothing. Like she ain't been posting nothing and now it's time for her to make her debut. I really do think it's like planned. 
But at the same time, this is why I'm confused because Clarence is very um, secretive. Clarence like all his business out. Like Clarence is gonna like present information that he wants you to know, not information that he didn't have no control over. So for his business to come out like this, this bad, I really do think Clarence still have a part in this. Now for her to come out this strong, we don't know her. We don't know what she's about. We don't know how bad she want this YouTube lifestyle. And if she wanted this bad, I wouldn't put it past her that she wrote the book. Because why are you going to be like, oh, I'm starting my relationship with Clarence. The book started just like that. So I'll just start there. But I'm just be like, hey, I didn't make the book. I have no reason to like make the book. And you know what? I'm going to leave it at that. Like she been leaving it. Like she been leaving this like out the loop. So why you want to put us in the loop now when the book did that, when the book came out and the book said, this is how me and Clarence met. This is how I felt. This is where, like, basically the story led all the way up into that. So you're going to start from there. It's kind of sketchy to me. But also, I don't know. I really do personally feel like it's her and her team because she's dating somebody. I follow so many people on Instagram. I think either she or some other girl, they're both dating some kind of boxer. It would be perfect uh, it will be like perfect publicity for him and her for her to get her YouTube up and this like the scandal that gets her there because honestly it's a lot of us tuning in a lot of us want to know what the fuck going on we definitely want to know what's going on with Clarence because Clarence don't tell us shit so this would be a good opportunity for her to come out here and just like show her story but I want to go into this with an open mind I want to assume she is innocent I want to assume that she didn't do any of this as Clarence would say I wouldn't assume that she really is a good person, a genuine person, and she's classy like that, and she wouldn't do that. But given how YouTube is and how they be playing with us and how they treat us when it comes to like clickbait and everything, I wouldn't put it past it that she uh she's trying to get this YouTube bag. We all trying to get it, but you ain't have to write that little PDF to like come out here and try to get on there because we would follow her anyway because her body look good, so everybody want a nice body, so we would follow her anyway, but. I guess she probably didn't believe in herself or anything, but I don't know. I want to assume she's innocent, like I said, but we cannot do that. You know, it's supposed to be like innocent until proven guilty. So, well, it's supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. So, given how that is, how it's supposed to go, she's innocent until she proves herself otherwise. Now, she come out here. And start talking all that mumble like this is how me and Clarence met and the story started adding up and kind of like sinking together. But then she's trying to like make it smooth and sound like all nice and neat. But it's still going in a sequence of the book. She wrote that shit. She did that shit. Ain't no, ain't, ain't no way around it. She did that shit. But if she come on here, clear the air and then leave YouTube, she had genuine intentions. If she come on here, clear the air with like a three to five part series like they be doing documentaries about the men. I don't know. That's sketchy. I think she planned it and I think that's what she wanted to get her YouTube popping. But honestly, truly, it takes like 1,000 subscribers and four hours of watch time. No, 4,000 hours of watch time. Honestly, she got the subscriber like threshold now. So come on YouTube to start making money. So personally, it wouldn't make sense for her to have to do this. But if she's been studying YouTube and getting the wrong advice and she's doing it this way, then you never know. But innocent to proven guilty. But I'm watching you. I think your ass is trying to get on YouTube. I think you're trying to like get that bag and I don't blame you, but it, this ain't the way. But anyway, let's hear what sis gotta say. Cause sis look good. Sis look like she's taking well taken care of right now. Like she really don't need none of that. So I'm gonna hear what she gotta say. What y'all think? Do y'all do y'all think she's getting it? Do y'all think she's trying to clickbait us and like y'all think she's trying to drag us out and get her YouTube money up? Or what? Y'all let me know because that's what it's looking like to me. But in a sense, we're proving guilty. Remember that. And comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts. Like, let's go back and forth. I want to, I want to hear what y'all got to say. And thank you for tuning in. And I will see y'all in the next video.